Oz, Hello. nice to see you. Nice to see you. Also, um, here at Synthfest, big release for you guys, right? Big, um, biggest ever in terms of physical size and possibly in terms of um, importance, I would guess, to, to somebody, uh, that somebody being me. Yeah, the Disting NT, uh, it's the, the new Disting. Um, it's been 10 years since the original Disting. Uh, it's evolved, it's gone through Mach 4, it's gone through the EX, which is over here as well, and uh, now it's uh, this, the, the Disting NT. So you've gone from here to here, because yep. I mean the Disting is, uh, for many people if they don't know, it's like a, it's a, it's a Swiss Army knife module that does so many functions, digital functions. It is. I mean a lot of stuff going on in it, but quite hard to operate perhaps for those with small fingers or <laughs> poor eyes because of the screen size, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I've always found it um, fine. But Not hard uh, to operate, but <laughs> compact. It's it is compact. Um, and yeah, I mean, let's face it, none of us are getting any younger. Um, that's the original. That's the EX, uh, and now we're on to, to this. So yeah, it, the, the screen is bigger. So I mean, I've, I've taken that on board. The whole thing is just more open, I guess. It's what the, the, the word I want to use is accessible. Um, it's ex more accessible. All this 10 years worth of development, basically, I'm building on, made more accessible by virtue of it being physically easier to operate, um, but also conceptually more accessible in as much as all the things it does have been reappraised and streamlined right. and simplified. And more I.O. as well, is that? By Much the more I.O. So we've got uh, 12 inputs. Um, it's actually eight outputs because there's two extras you can get on a breakout, uh, MIDI, select bus, and USB for the first time on the disting, which can be used for MIDI and audio. Uh, more knobs, more buttons, more encoders, SD cards still there. Um, yeah, and it's got 50 algorithms from the distings ported over so far. The idea is eventually to bring them all over. So these algorithms are both sound generative and control, and they basically yeah. so many functions, right? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, algorithm is a catch-all for a, a chunk of code, basically. So it could be something as simple as a simple LFO, or it could be uh, one of the algorithms is basically a DX7, right? I mean, right. It, that's the kind of span or sample playing or, or the audio effects, like you say, or CV things like quantizers or Euclidean pattern generators, that kind of thing, clocks. Um, yeah, and whereas on the other distings you've had either one of them at a time, or with the EX you can like do two things at a time. With this, you just do you keep adding things until you run out of CPU or memory. Right. Basically. Okay. Um, yeah, and you you I want I want to say string them together, but they don't have to be strung together. They could be completely independent, parallel blocks right, of operation. So um, yeah, so it's effectively, it's, a, it, it's just as much grunt as you can use it for to do as many things as you can think of in yes, many ways. Yes, with enough I.O. to make it so that you can hook it up in multiple places in your patch. We well. probably need some sort of a demo so people can get some context here, yes. right? Yes, so now what I absolutely don't want to give the impression of is that this is just a monolithic thing where you just set it up and it does something. But the easiest way to demonstrate it is to load a monolithic thing that just sits there and does something. So I'm going to do that. So I've loaded the uh, preset. So this preset is basically a self-playing ambient piano, right? Because um, uh, this plays um, sample sets, doesn't it? Multi-sample yeah. sets as well. So it's streaming multi-samples off the micro SD card. Um, this is the nice um, Spitfire Lab soft piano. Yeah, because it loads labs, doesn't it, as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, you can see the, all the different things it's doing here. So starting at the top, um, this, this algorithm is a nice one. It doesn't actually do anything. It just gives you somewhere you can put some notes so you can uh, remind yourself what it's doing. So we're starting with a clock generator, which is outputting a few clocks. That's feeding into these two um, shift register random CV generators. 
that's feeding into a quantizer, which is quantizing both of those things into a scale. Those quantized CVs are coming through into uh, the multi-sample player. And triggering notes, right? Triggering notes. So, I mean, this is an example. Um, within one of the algorithms, one of the ways it's been made easier to use is, is the parameters have been broken down into pages rather than having just one big list. So you uh, can okay. say every, it's just a slightly smaller selection of things to deal with. And then once you're in the thing, you just like use the knob to change. It's like just changing sound. Change the, change the sample sets. Uh, where's, let's, let's get my, let's go back to a word. So this can output audio and CV, presumably, right? Yeah, so at the moment, all the CV is kind of internal and it's just chucking out audio. Um, but any of these things could be taking CV in or out. Um, so yeah, just to complete this one, it's running through a delay and then a reverb. So, um, I mean, let's load something else just by way of another example. That's another. Fast load for um, yeah. sample load as well. Well, it, um, yeah, it's instant basically. It just starts streaming. So this one is drums based on Euclidean patterns. I mean, and this is the kind of display we can have now that we've never been able to have before. Showing all the patterns. And you'll notice that one of the rows of patterns is kind of changing occasionally. And that's all done with um, parameter mappings. So like on the other distings, you can map any parameter on any algorithm from a CV, from MIDI, or from I2C. And if you're using CV, you can have that internally. So in this particular case, the um, first Euclidean patterns is actually modulating the pattern on the second Euclidean patterns to get a more complex. So rhythm. really, I mean, essentially, we're talking. Ultimately, it's like a little little microcomputer that is specialised in the functions that you could think yeah, of. Absolutely, you can add out, and I know you add algorithms periodically, and you know, so you go. You, it's an ex extensible OS, I suppose, in a way. It is. It's my own little private development playground uh, for modular related stuff, really, yeah. So, so, I mean, people have been using them as like, the sort of heart of their systems. I mean, much in the way that, you know, people use PAMS Workout for, for very specific functions. Yeah. It's everywhere. You see distings in a lot of people's rigs. You do. I'm not, I'm not sure that disting has ever been the heart of a system, but it's, I mean, if anything's the heart of anything, it will be the FH2, I guess. But the, the um, yeah, it, it's just a little, it's a chunk of processing that you can put into your patch, and because you've got all these different functions you can choose, you can switch it to the thing you want it to do within that patch. But now with this, it can do lots of different things. At the same and time. You've got more <laughs> I.O. It could be like part of... A lot of a lot of different places in your patches. So can um, you, I know. I mean, let me, I've got yeah, a particular okay. example I okay, can great. I can bring up here. Say, so, so this is another preset. This particular preset um, wants audio. So I've got this the Disting EX set up as a polysynth, which I'm going to plug into the EX, and I can play that here. So. Um, MIDI triggering the Disting EX audio into the NT, which is running the, uh, it's called the Curbinator. It's a, like a random glitchy kind of sample playbacky thing. So sort of granular engine-ish. Uh, it's not granular. It's more like, um, like a stutter sample kind ah, of okay, affair. Got um, and then I've also got a little patch here of my um, Analog modules driven from the FH2, which sounds like that. But say, I mean, at the moment, I'm mixing those two things together in the case. But I could pull that out of here. So this is the signal from the that bass line. Because right, so a mixer as well. Yeah, so I pop that in there, say, input 9. And then I can, just adding to this patch, add... Um, a mixer, like so. And then there's just a little bit of setup to do, because you've got to route everything. So, um, so basically what I'm setting up is a mixer on the end of my existing patch, um, which is going to let me mix in 
that analog sound. Okay, right. Um, from input nine, I've got it on there, so I'll choose input nine. There we go. So I've yeah, so I've got my the patch I had before. Now with the analog stuff on the mixer. I mean now, the power. I mean, like, presumably then you could use it to send things to effect or any kind totally. of effect, all sorts. Uh, or what I would also do in this case, because you can probably hear the two things are out of tune with each other. So I could just pop another signal out of my VCO, say into there, and then I can add a. Add the tuner, and I'll put the tuner on input 12, which is there, and I'll just go. Actually, it's not too bad. There we go. So I've got that tuning. That's quite a handy, isn't it? Because especially for modular, as we know. Totally. So now you know, just just using a couple of the unused inputs, part of it to mix the thing in, another input to be a tuner, completely independent for the rest of the patch. It's just there if you need it. Um, as well as all the other stuff it was doing before. So yeah, that's uh, a kind of a simple example, I guess. But well, but I mean the complexity. So when you say till you run out of CPU or memory, yes. What I mean, what how how far have you pushed it? Have you run out of stuff? I mean, you're the developer. You must have figured <laughs> out where the edges are, right? Yeah, I mean you can. Yeah, I mean if you load up like half a dozen DX7s, you can quite quickly run out of right. CPU, I guess. But um, yeah, it, it's. It's Enough. way more powerful than the, the EX has ever been. And yeah, because you can add lots of different things, which any one of which might be slightly smaller, you can actually yeah. end up with really quite elaborate um, patches. Interesting. So this is out now. I mean, you released yeah, it yeah. this week, right? Yes, so. it, was, it was out on, in the shops on Thursday. Um, it's in stock. Worldwide, as, as far as I'm aware. And what do you know? What the UK retail is? UK right? retail is five nine nine, um, whatever that is. I mean, dollars are yeah quite a lot of dollars at the moment, but um, that's just exchange rates for you. Yeah, but no VAT, so you know who. No, no. It could be either way, right? Yeah. And and so I mean, I guess it's this. So does now all your focus move to the uh, the NT platform, or can you update all of them simultaneously? Or um, no, I, I mean. There's only one of me, unfortunately. So yeah, a lot of my focus will be on the NT, but I will continue to update the others. I mean, I, I did update the FH2 and the Disting EX just last week, right? With another pat, uh, another updates. So. And, yeah. and so, if people buy, buy, I mean, how much input do you get from users to kind of go, oh, hey, can you do this? I mean, do you implement huge people's? amount? Yep. I mean, um, there's a very active forum on, on Mod Wiggler. Um, just started up a Discord server, which we'll see how that works out. But yeah, I'm all, I'm all ears. Um, anything anybody suggests gets logged in a big database of suggestions, and every now and again I kind of have a look through it. And well, because sometimes you're doing something that might be like, oh, all I need to do is bolt this on; it'd be easy. Yeah, I can yeah, imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, Oz, thank you so much for this. It's really thank good. you for stopping good. by and then letting me ramble on at some length about my exciting new product. But yeah, thank you. Cheers. Cheers.